like the sun I might have known If God had granted me a son The son I fly One by one How soon they fly On and on And I am old And will be
The next piece is Hayom Arat Ulam, and it's composed by cantor, doctor, maestro, 
Mordechai Sobol. And um, I have some shivers as I'm about to sing it. Hayom Arat Ulam. We say three times on each of the days of Rosh Hashanah after blowing the shofar. And it says, today is the, the, the birth day of the world, and today is the judgment day. And a year and change ago, five days after Mordechai sang at the synagogue, Hayom Harat Olam, judgment day came and he passed away. I sang this piece under his baton uh, many, many years ago. It was one of the first things, first pieces that I sang in the concert that he conducted the Israeli orchestra, the Philharmonic Orchestra. It's really a moving, moving, powerful piece describing the Day of Judgment. And I remember him now as my maestro, my mentor, my colleague, and most of all, my friend. And I miss him. Hayom harat olam.
I've invited a guest from Venice, Italy. He has mar a marvelous, marvelous voice. His, uh, his, he's a wonderful, wonderful musician, a great singer, and a person who will really thrill you with his beautiful sounds. Luca Minelli.
te vogliono tanto bene, te volessero passare, e tu dici a parte Dio, te allontare da tutto il cuore, basta te va nell'amore, te nu cuore. And un turno, ma non me la so, non darmi sputo il miento, con la sorrenta, al Rafi Frieder, I thought it would be nice that he joins me in this next Zimalong, which is, which is, which is, which is songs that you all know. I know that you know them, because you've heard them in synagogue. So join us. Join us. I'm sure you know every one of them. Oh, I am 
Hesed berachamim berachamim Aleinu Ve'al kol Yisrael Ve'al kol Yisrael Amecho Borcheinu avinu Kulanu kenechad Ve'or panecho Kibiyot panechad Atatananu Asher melokeinu Shalom Sim shalom Tobanu lachad
man that all of you know, uh, you've heard him many, many times, Shai Abramson, who is going to come up and join us for the last piece on the first half, which is called uh, Ose Shalom, and this was written by Mordechai Sobel, by your father, Allah Shalom. And let me say, these, uh, uh, Mordechai was such an unusual man. He wrote so much. He brought Jewish music, Jewish cantorial, Hebrew, Israeli, all kinds of, all kinds of Jewish music to this level, the highest you could go. I was, I was so proud. I loved working with him. And this is only one of the numbers that he's written. He's written, he's really composed a lot of music. And he wanted to become a person who would bring music, Jewish music, not with only a piano, not only with a guitar, but he wanted to bring it to symphony like this. Weren't they great? <laughs> well, Ose Shalom.
Good evening. I've said it before, but good evening now, my dear friends. Firstly, let me personally welcome all of you to our Salute to Israel gala concert. And I'm thrilled to see all of you here tonight, really. It's really been a pleasure to have all of you. The concert this evening is in memory of Dr. Mordechai Sobel, who was a very dear friend of mine. We love you, Mordechai. I'm sure that you are probably up there creating your own orchestra, your own symphony, and creating a whole choir to come and sing some of your Jewish music with all the angels. This evening is also very special to me because of a very special guest who I will ask to join me on this stage momentarily. I want to express to him how much all Jews all over America appreciate what he does, admire him, respect him, and love him. It's Rabbi Mark Golub, the president, <laughs> the president and the CEO of JBS the Jewish Broadcasting Service. He is an extraordinary man. He possesses incredible warmth, passion, knowledge, eloquence, true respect, warmth. He gives respect to everyone. Mark Olib has given the Jewish community a true gift, the JBS Network. I am sure that this was his dream because he is a rabbi and he is in a synagogue. But this was his dream, to create a Jewish TV program to go 24-7 each day, each night, each morning. It is one of the greatest resources of everything Jewish, from live streamed prayer services to Jewish news from Israel, captivating interviews, panel discussions, Jewish music, Jewish films, lectures, and so much more, and all done on a very high level. When I watch you, Rabbi Golub, do an interview on the Chaim, or moderate a group, I am in awe. I truly am in awe. Yes, you have a unique way of making everyone feel so, so wonderfully at ease. And as you treat everyone with great respect and with fairness, no matter what their opinion or position is, Mark, you always captivate your audience, also captivating those you interview. You bring every topic to the forefront while being mindful, thoughtful, and respectful to all. Mark, you have given us the ability and opportunity to learn, to expand our knowledge, to hear both sides of every story, to be aware of what is going on in the world affecting our people, and to enjoy and relish in the joy of Jewish prayer, discussions, Jewish culture, Jewish music, and Jewish film. Rabbi Golub, would you honor us by joining me on stage for a few minutes? By the way, is this man amazing? You know, yes, he is amazing. There is no one like Saul Zim in the entire Jewish world. And I, I no, my turn. <laughs> and, and I Don't know, I, I know, I know everyone in this hall tonight feels exactly as I do. It is an extraordinary privilege. We are blessed by what you've created. And you do this year after year. Tonight, to, to listen to Cantor Frieder, to listen to the chief a cantor from the IDF, a Cantor Abramson, that Luca was here that your maestro Sobel was here, 
in honor of his father and his great musicianship and this extraordinary orchestra. We have been privileged tonight to be present at, and you use the phrase, I want to use the phrase, it's a world-class concert that we are privileged to, to be, uh, participate in, and it's all due to this man whose heart and soul, Yotze Minaklau, you know the Hebrew expression, it is out of, there's no one like him out of this world. I love you so very much, and I am honored, I am honored by what you said about me, and you, believe every word. Oh, 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 I believe a half a word. <laughs> but I want to say two things. That, oh, let's get this. Oh, and I get something from my office. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I, I want to I say just two things and then I'm done. I want to hear more music. Um, but wait, how many of you have ever watched JBS? Whoa! Isn't that thrilling? Very channel nice. channel 219, on, if you have Spectrum, channel 219. If you have Optimum, 138. If you have DirecTV, 388. And you can watch it online at jbstv.org, everything. I, excuse me, I didn't know that Fios was in Queens. Fios, 798. Good for you. RCN, 269. Want me to go through the whole list? I love you. I love you. Listen, if you've enjoyed tonight, you can watch it on JBS. We have the JBS crew here tonight, fabulous, fabulous people. I, I, am, I thank you, Serge and all the staff, Oleg. And you can watch this concert. We will air it many times on JBS, and then we'll, we'll show pieces of it as well. And I want those of you who have watched JBS to understand something. What Saul just said is exactly true. This has been my dream. I've been a rabbi since 1972. All I wanted to do was create a Jewish television network. There's never been one in the history of American Jewish life. And we created a PBS-style television channel. In other words, if you imagine PBS Jewish-themed, you've got JBS. And all the things that Saul described about it in a most loving way, are the things that make me the most proud. I, I'm doing this because I could not imagine not doing it. But I don't do it alone. And there are wonderful people, like Saul and others, who literally sustain me. And it's a lot of work, but it's loving work. And it's loving because I'm surrounded by these extraordinary people. So the only thing I want you to know is if you've watched JBS, you will very often hear either me or you'll see it up on the screen, produced by Carol, the producer, senior producer, Carol Lilienthal. Carol is here tonight. Stand up a moment of applause for Carol Lilienthal. And there are two other women who, without them, I would never have done JBS. One has been the dearest of friends for me for longer than the children of Israel were in the wilderness. <laughs> she is a vice president of JBS, Edith Sammers. Stand up, Edith. <laughs> and the last thing I want you to know is that there's a cliche, you know, behind every woman, man, there's a woman. It's not about behind. <laughs> it's not, no, it's not. I, got, I just got very, very lucky. Today, my wife and I are celebrating our 40th anniversary. <laughs> and understand, I'm here, Saul, on my 40th anniversary because of, because of you, because of you. And it's lovely to receive an honor, but it's all about who gives you that honor. And that's why I'm here on my 40th anniversary. But I'm here celebrating my 40th anniversary because God gave me an extraordinary gift. God gave me the loveliest thing he ever made. And my wife, Ruth 
has been by my side, and she only knows one word, yes. <laughs> it's a very, no, it's a very important word for people, especially when they're trying to do something new and difficult. And when somebody who loves you says, you can do it, yes, do it. And when it's, there's all kinds of questions, she's saying yes, and what you're doing is wonderful, and, and I'm proud of you, it makes it possible. So I want you to know that everything I've ever done, rabbinically, everything, in, any success I've ever had, any honor that's ever given me, whether it's literal or not, Ruth's name is on everything I have ever done. Would you please welcome my wife on her 40th anniversary, Ruth Gollop. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to Macaroo. Happy anniversary to you. Now, I want to uh, on with the show. So, everybody spoke, and I'm just waving in my hands. <laughs> um, you know, my father was a cantor, you know, a great cantor and a conductor. He was also a composer, but I don't know how many of you knew that he had a radio show in Israel every Friday for 21 years and this melody that you heard was the intro for this radio show you know we are 
speaking about my, about my father um, the whole day, but he's missing me, he's missing the family, he's missing all the cantors um, backstage and even the orchestra. So I prepared a quick reminder of my father as a cantor. Please, Carlos. Now for the next for the next song I want to invite on stage my dear friend Cantor Shai Abramson and he will sing for you another th song that my father wrote in 1973 Shai bevakasha please Oh. 
הרי וגלבוע, הרי וגלבוע, אל תל ואל מטר עליכם, ושני תרובות. הרי וגלבוע, הרי וגלבוע, אל תל ואל מטר עליכם, ושני
Say the word and I will follow you. They deserve it. Now it's your turn to take out your cell phones. And that is why, because I want you to turn on the lights like this. Can you do that? And you have to hold it like this. And with the rhythm of the song that you will hear in a minute, you do it like this, okay? Don't stop till the end. Otherwise, we stop. All right? Yeah, please. I want to see every, everybody. Oh, my God. More, more, more. Okay, maestro.
Thank you. You were amazing with the lights. Ah. You know, um, I have to say a few words before we sing the next piece, because this man, Shai Abramson, he was chosen to be the head and the chief Cantor for the IDF after he sung this song. Isn't that true? True. Okay. All of a sudden, someone heard him sing, no, and I'm not, not that it's the song, it was his voice. And it had a lot of, it was his voice. And I must tell you, I was so proud that, that he had sung this song at that time, the Avinu Shabbat it was really because he made a video of it with Ophir, with Mordechai, Sobel, both of them. And you must have seen it on TV. It's been on YouTube, right. It's been, it's been done so many times, a few million, okay? And uh, it, it made me so proud. And I thank you publicly, Shai for doing so. this. And you made me you made me a star. What could I say no. <laughs> I, I didn't even know what to do with before that. Let's go. Avinu Sheba Shemayim. And you know it, you may join us. Oh, 
avinu sheba shamagi tsur israel vego We need your voice. I think what we have to do is uh, 
get this guy to sing a few Yiddish songs, a few Israeli songs, a few Hebrew songs, and a bit of abyssal. He doesn't understand. He understands only a very abyssal. Abyssal chazunis. Chazunis is, is uh, Irish. It's, it's cantorial, but it's Irish in chazunis. Anyway, it's a pleasure having you. Oh, the 
Das Vatayim, Kineshika Zara, im Meshkacher Yerushalayim, Asher Kula Zara. Yerushalayim, Shel Zahar, Eshel Lechoshet, Eshel Lechot, Ich bin 
we have here, huh? What a wonderful group. It's been a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be with you. Let's hear it for all of these wonderful singers and the orchestra, the conductor, maestro. Oh, fear. Oh, fear. The Mr. Maestro Sobo. How about the wonderful orchestra? Let's hear it for them. And the man who did it and put it together with me, the orchestra. Thank you and may you be blessed for an entire beautiful year. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Good night.
We would be pleased to send a complimentary DVD of this program to anyone who wishes to support JBS with a tax-deductible gift of $36, double chai, or more. Simply visit the JBS website at jbstv.org and click on the Donate button to make a donation by PayPal or your credit card. And please indicate the program for which you would like a DVD. Or you can send your tax-deductible check to JBS, Post Office Box 360, Stamford, Connecticut, 06904. Or you can call the JBS Pledge Line at 833-MY-JBS-TV. That's 833-695-2788. And again, please remember to indicate which program you would like to receive with our compliments. We thank you for your kind support.